got some cool salsa because I'm so cool. Mmm. Mmm. Hey guys and welcome to another video. So I thought today I would show you my food shopping for a week. So I do my food shopping just once a week and I also get it delivered so I don't go into the shop myself. The biggest reason why I do it is to save time because I have a really, really busy schedule and getting everything to the door is so much more convenient. This is something that is going to last me for a week and obviously some of these things last for longer like, like let's say this one. I'm going to tell you what this is later. I'm just going to go through it with you so that you have some sort of idea what I actually eat. So let's start with the veggies. So over here I have two packets of kale because kale, this is actually black kale. Lots of antioxidants, it's actually quite high in protein as well and it's generally just very good for you. I've got some celery, I've actually got two packets of celery and then I have some mushrooms because fresh mushrooms is the best I find. I bought frozen mushrooms before and they just go all soggy so they're just not for me. And then I also have some radishes because they are really good for you. I love the colour. They are pink. <laughs> it looks very good in a salad. And some tomatoes. Tomatoes is actually one of my favourite vegetables. So you've got to have those tomatoes. And then I am also a big sucker for peppers. So I got a big bag of peppers. I reckon Yes, there's six peppers in here and I use peppers all the time, all the time. I also got some steamed beetroot because that's really nice and you can actually have that in homemade hummus and dips as well, so it's really nice. Got some little jam letters as well because you just need to get those greens in and they were an offer as well this week so I got two. And then I got some sweet potatoes. I've recently gotten really, well, I, I mean, I've loved sweet potatoes for years now, but using sweet potatoes as a sweet meal is such a good idea. Like you bake it in the oven, then you can have some yogurt on top. I use some yogurt and nuts, a bit of buckwheat, some raisins, maybe dates. It's so, so good. It's really filling as well and for me it gives me a lot of energy when I'm at college so it's just spot on. I highly recommend it. It sounds a bit weird but using sweet potatoes in a sweet dish is so good. I mean it's called sweet potato so hello. <laughs> and then I have some onions as well. I have one red onion I kind of like red onions, but they are more expensive than these ones, so I get more of these, but I, I tend to get one or two of these each week just to treat myself. <laughs> and then I have some coriander, I'm going to put that in the fridge in a cup of water, so apparently they are going to last for a very long time if you do that. I also got some courgettes, there are three courgettes in this pack, and then a cucumber, and then I got this massive ginger, <laughs> massive, but you know, ginger's good for you, ginger is good, and it lasts for ages, so why not? Then I also got some, these were on offer, so I got, I normally never get ripe avocados, uh, because they are more expensive and because I do my food shopping once a week anyway if I buy this it will be uh, right the next week anyway so it's kind of like a cycle but they were on offer so they are right <laughs> very excited about that four carrots because carrots is great it's a great snack great great used in dips maybe with the celery and with some peppers that's just something I really enjoy. 
and then I went a bit crazy with yogurt. So all the Alpro soy yogurt, they were on sale in Tesco's now. So I got this one. It's a four pack with two peaches and two pineapple passion fruit. And I got two packs of this one, <laughs> which is raspberry and cranberry, and then blackberry. But what intrigues me the most is this one. I've never seen this before, and I saw it online, and I was, I was just like, oh my god, I need to try it. So it's an alpha yogurt, with it says more fruit and no added sugars, and it's mango flavoured. So I'm really, really looking forward to trying this one, and it was an offer as well, so it cost the same as these ones. I got two oranges, just because I love having them in my bento boxes when I'm going to college. Some grapes, these are also great in a lunchbox, but have you tried freezing grapes? It's literally like eating candy, you should try it. Then we are getting to an end here. I have bananas, I think there are 12 bananas here, which for some people might sound like a lot, but I get through maybe two bananas a day-ish, and I know people who get through a lot more. They are great in smoothies as well, and I love having them on top of my porridges in the morning, which you all probably know, I love porridge. <laughs> I got some soy milk. I normally go for soy milk just because these ones are the cheapest and they are quite high in protein as well. But when other milks are on offer, I tend to get them. Like oat milk is my favourite, but obviously it's a bit more expensive. So I'm getting oat milk sometimes when I want to treat myself. Some tofu. This is Firm Tofu uh, from Cauldron, it's the original one. I love using this one, using it at dinners, uh, in stir fries and everything, yeah, I just love it. Some tahini, if you, haven't, uh, if you haven't tried tahini before, you should. I make a lot of dressings and dips with it, and it's really, really good. Just a tablespoon of tahini with some lemon juice, and then you have yourself a nice dressing, and you can of course, add more stuff to it if you want. This is going to last me for a very long time, probably, because it's, it's 500 grams. So yeah, it's going to last me a while. I got some cool salsa because I'm so cool. I'm joking. Um, yeah, I got some salsa. Uh, normally, I get hummus as well, but because it's, it's just been Christmas, I'm trying to... As I said in one of my videos, I'm trying to cut down on the fats, so I got some salsa instead this time. Then I got some silken tofu, so I make my um, carbonara sauces with this. Every like white sauce uh, for pasta. I think I've used this to make like a pizza sauce as well once. It's really nice, but you can also make tofu and ice cream with this, and. I posted a few photos on Instagram where I've made this. So it's this pink, super creamy, high in protein breakfast with some peanut butter on top. It's just, mmm, mmm. Should try it, should try it. So then I just got some frozen stuff. I got two packs of blueberries and then one pack of raspberries. I actually like frozen blueberries more than if you actually get them fresh in the store. First of all, if you get anything fresh, it doesn't la last as long, and that is especially if we're talking about berries. But store-bought blueberries, like fresh ones, they are often white inside, and I'm a bit like, it's a blueberry, it's supposed to be blue or purple or whatever you want to call it. So I'm not a big fan of the fresh ones and I find they don't taste very nice anyway. So I always get frozen blueberries. Did I mention these? No, I didn't. Such a badass. So these are... What are these? <laughs> peaches. I got two packs of peaches which makes that ten 
10 meters. So that was the last thing. A lot of people tend to ask me how much money I spend and what my budget is like and what my shopping is like. So there you go. This is my normal shopping. And for those of you who wonder, because as, as I said, a lot of people ask me, this cost me £40 and that's the only food I'm going to buy this week. So my budget is, unless I go to Aldi when I'm at college to get, let's say, one banana or an apple or some, something like that. So my budget every week on food is around 40 to £50, which I think is a good price. I think that's a very good price and especially considering all these things are healthy whole food. I am very happy with this and I am looking forward to eating it, especially the avocados because I haven't had avocados in quite a while. That is it for this video and I hope you liked it and that you Maybe you got some inspiration to what you want to buy yourself, got some inspiration to buy healthier, or just in general if you are curious about what I am eating. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media, and I will see you in my next video as well. Bye!